Right, this video is going to go through the quick sort and it's going to go through a binary search. So a quick sort requires us to put these eight names into alphabetical order following an algorithm. And the first part of the algorithm is to choose the name that's at the midpoint of the list to be the first pivot. Now there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So the midpoint is between Hannah and Kieran and the algorithm states that if there's an even number of items, the pivot should be the item to the right of the middle. So our first pivot is going to be Kieran. So to denote the pivot, we put the pivot inside a square, and then we go through all the names, uh, all the letters that are left, and decide whether they go before K or after K in the alphabet. And we do it in the order from left to right. So M is after K, L is after K, J is before K, H is before K, uh, T is after K, R is after K, and I is also uh, and I is before K. So now we have two uh, sublists, this one and this one, and we apply the algorithm to this list and then we apply it to that list. So the pivot is H because that's in the middle of this sublist. So I write down H and put a square around it. Uh, K is has been a pivot, so that stays like that. And the pivot um, on the right hand list is between L and T. And remember if we've got an even number we take the letter to the right of the middle. The middle is there the one to the right is there. So our pivot's going to be T. Now let's go through these two sublists. Uh, J is after H and I is after H. Now in the second sublist, M is before T, L is before T and R is before T. Now we apply the algorithm again to the sublists that are left. Uh, still got two. We've got this one, J and I, and M, L, R. So the midpoint is there. So we take the uh, the item to the right of the midpoint. So H has already been a pivot. I is the new pivot. K has been a pivot. Uh, T has been a pivot. And the new pivot in this list is L because that's in the middle. So now if we look at the sublist J and I, J is after I, so that goes here. Uh, and so in this new sublist we've got M, that's after L, and R is after L. So we've got H, that's been a pivot, I, that's been a pivot, J is obviously now a pivot, K has been a pivot, L has been a pivot, the new pivot is R, and then M is before that, so that goes before there. And then finally, all the letters have been chosen as pivots. So now we've got the sort which is complete. If you don't write sort complete, you're throwing away a mark. So that is the quick sort. Now part B of this question requires us to locate the name Hugo by using the binary search. A binary search has to be on an ordered list. So it says use the binary search algorithm on your list from part A. So we need to use the ordered list that we've just got. Now we've got eight items, so the first number that we're going to look at, uh, we're going to use uh, the, f the formula m plus 1 over 2, which is uh, obviously um, 9 over 2, which is 4.5, and we're going to round up, you always round up if you get a half, so we round up to 5. So we look at the fifth number on the list, which is L. Now we're looking for Hugo. Hugo is H, Lauren is L, 
So we reject all the names to the right of Lauren. So we've now got four names left. So m plus 1 over 2. 4 plus 1 over 2 uh, is 5 over 2. So we round up to 3. So the second choice is number 3. And that is uh, John. John is J, that's after H. So again we reject all the names to the right. We've now got um, two choices left. Uh, N plus 1 over 2. Uh, 2 plus 1 is 3, so that's 3 over 2. So we round up to 2. So the third choice is the second on the list, which was Imogen. And again, that's uh, after H in the alphabet. So we reject to the right. Uh, and now we've only got one number left, N plus 1 over 2. 1 plus 1 is 2 over 2, which is 1. Uh, so the fourth choice is the first number on the list. And the first number on the list is Hannah, which we can reject. So the list is now empty. So Hugo is not in the list. Now it's worth bearing in mind that we can look at this and within about three milliseconds we can see that Hugo is not on the list. But the point of this is to establish what the algorithm is, that if we had a million names um, we could apply an algorithm which uh, we could get a machine, a computer, to do this in a very quick space of time and obviously much more quickly than we could scan a million names. So that's uh, the quick sort and the binary search.